What's up, modern steaders? Let's go let the pigs out, and then we gotta go take care of the baby chicks and the ducklings. I've been trying to get a shot with the pigs sleeping outside in the raspberry bushes lately, but every time I come out, I wake them up, and I haven't been able to get it on camera. We'll try it again tonight. What? What are you doing? You wanna come out and play? You wanna come out to the pasture? Don't eat my shorts. Go ahead. They're crazy, I tell ya. What? What? Oh, you're crazy. Hey, my shorts on for eating. Pasture raised pigs are just so happy and they're just so much fun to watch. You could sit out here and drink a cup of coffee and watch them, or you could sit over at New York City and watch those chickens. It's just so much fun watching the animals being out in the environments they were created to be in. We need to clean out our chick brooder. We had a few people comment and asking, how come we don't have a heat lamp? There's a few reasons. It might sound a little harsh, but I don't want to raise wimpy chickens here. When we keep our animals outside, they don't have a heat lamp in the winter time. So when we raise them, my mind thinks naturally. How did this always happen before we intervened? So especially for like us, we always we're around before medicine, and we, we're still here. We've always survived. So how have we survived and adapted without medicines, without unnatural intervention? So with chicks, the mother sits on them, keeps them warm, and they're out running around throughout the day. When they get cold, they go back and sit under the mother again. So what do I need to do with my chicks so I don't need to give them a heat source? To me that just seems very unnatural. I'm always sitting under a light and staying warm. That's not what they do in nature. In here we have 51 chicks. So think about all that body heat. There's a lot of body heat here. These chickens, if they were really cold, they'd be like stacked on top of each other. So if you're doing this, you need to keep an eye on your chicks. If they are too cold and in a drafty area, yes, you need to use a heat lamp. If you have them in an undrafty area and they can keep each other warm without overcrowding themselves, you're in good shape. We've done, this is how we've always raised all of our birds. We do have heat lamps here, but we try not to use them. If we need them, we will. So if these chicks were too cold, they wouldn't be roaming around. They'd be all stuck on top of each other. So I want to be able to put my chicks outside right away without having to worry about them getting cold or not being able to keep themselves warm. Now, if you're raising a Cornish cross, you gotta be a little more careful because they're not bred for their adaptability. They're bred to be raised confinedly and having like their diets precise, the heat precise, their water precise. They can't adapt. So in Cornishes, yeah, you're gonna need a heat source. All right, so let's grab. Here's one of the yellow ones, and look at the wing feathers. What kind of breeds do you think that is? Here's a yellow one, and look at the wings. What kind of breed do you think that is? Grab a brown one, and show you the wings so far. Here's the brown one. See the wings? And then it's got the stripes still down the back. Leave it in the comments down below if you think you know the breeds. Here's 
one of the red ones. Straight Pluto back up. And these guys, I'm 99% sure that these are probably barred rocks. If they're not barred rocks, maybe they're Australops. I don't know, they might not be barred rocks, but their head looks like a barred rock. If that's a barred rock, I'm gonna bet you that's a female. But there's no other color on this chick, so I'm gonna say it's not a barred rock. What do you think? Leave it down in the comments below. So remember, this right here is not a waste, it's a resource. We need to compost it. See, we got a nice compost pile going. We need to compost this and turn this into some awesome fertilizer for our garden next year. Let's go. You don't need to worry about taking out all the shavings. We try to leave some in. And you don't need to spread them out completely. The chicks are gonna have fun doing that for us later. Oh, I'm sorry. This one I think is a bod rock. It's got some white in its feathers, so that's definitely a bod rock. The one that had all black, I'm not sure what that breed is. This is going to be fun to figure out what kind of birds we got here. That'd be awesome if we had like five or six different breeds to raise up and figure out what kind is better raising for meat. Now they're huddled up like that because of the predator. That's why they're all huddled up right now. Not because they're cold, but Pluto's drooling over them. Are you drooling over them, Pluto? Yep, she is. For our waters, we just like making these waters out of a one gallon milk jug. I have a video on how we make these. I'll put a link to that video right here. After we have modern steader stew for dinner, we're gonna candle the Icelandic chicken eggs. Today's day 10, so they've been in the incubator long enough so we can candle them and see what's going on. After eight days of being in the incubator, you can candle your eggs and see if they're fertile. There we go. There's Pluto drooling over them again. See, that chick already stuck her head in and got a drink. They love it. See them? There they go. Look at them. So cute. I decided I want some gluten-free cornbread to go with our modern instead of stew we're making tonight for dinner. So let's make some cornbread. The recipe we're using calls for one cup gluten-free flour and a cup of, we're gonna use Bob's Red Mill organic medium grind cornmeal. One tablespoon baking powder. That seems like a lot of baking powder, but that's what it calls for. Calls for a tablespoon of sugar. You can leave the sugar out, or if you have honey, you could use honey or maple syrup. Got organic sugar at least, so we'll use that. 
We're gonna need one pasture raised egg. We got a whole stack of them in here, so we'll grab one. And we're gonna need a quarter of a cup of butter. We got our Kerrygold butter. Oh, and while we're in here, we might as well grab our raw milk. Gonna add our cup of raw milk. I like to melt slash soften my butter. You see how yellow that is? That's the Kerrygold butter. It's pasture raised. It just makes it easier to mix it in. Cornbread's one of those nice things that you can just whip up pretty quick. There's not very many ingredients in it. Just put everything in the bowl and mix it up. That's gonna go really good tonight with the modern Stetter stew. Oh, yes. All right, let me get a bacon pan. Oh, that's right, I ran out of all of our pork lard, so I'm gonna have to use coconut oil. That'll do. But pork lard works even better for grease in a pan. Oh, I can't wait till after dinner. We get to handle the Icelandic eggs. Hopefully they're all fertile. Not all of them, most of them. I bet you this is gonna be delicious. Let's check on it. Oh yeah, that's done. Sweet. You ready to candle some eggs? Mm -hmm. All right, you ready, Livies? Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Yeah. Ooh, there's raisins. Ooh, you can see. Oh yeah, I see. A stuff. chicken forming. Yeah, look at that. Woohoo! Make it not let it go. All right. Chicken head or part of the body on the side. Cool beans. So far, this incubator is working better. Oh, but don't get in my eye. Yep, there's veins. Yep. Yeah, see the. Let me see. Let me see if I can get him to the veins. Can you guys see the veins? Right. Yeah. All through the bottom. All right. Yep. Yep. Wow. Yeah, that one's cool. No, I don't know. Oh, yep, yeah, nope, there's veins here. Yeah, but they're lighter. Because what's today? 11. Day 11. Yeah, that one's a dud. That one's not. That one's got something in it. Cool beans. Look, do you want to see my veins? Look, you don't got any veins. Well, you can see one of my veins. Yep, there's veins in there. Yep, you can see the whole formation of the chickens right here. Leave it there for a second. The whole form of the chickens like up there upside down. Awesome. Yep. It has stuff, but yeah, I don't know if it's a good one. There's veins. There's veins, but it's... Huh, we'll leave it and we'll see. It's not a very yeah. strong one, but... <clears throat> There we go. Here's there we one. go. That's a good one. You can see some good spots on this backside. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Mm, yeah. Yep. yep.
Well, that was fun. 16 are fertile and six wasn't. So, so far this incubator is working better. Keep our fingers crossed that we get a lot of them to hatch out. And tomorrow we're gonna be going to an amusement park for somebody's birthday, but shh, don't tell her. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it, it's really been helping the channel grow. We just hit 8,000 subscribers. We wanted to thank all the modern steaders for that. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Bum the Acres, a guide to modern home setting, self-sufficiency and freedom. Bye. 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 Let's see if we can sneak up on the pigs. They might be sleeping out. That's not where you sleep. Come on. Let's go to your home. Come on. Oh, come on. You're gonna get into your sleeping spot. That's not where you sleep. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know where you belong. Come on. Mrs. Pigs. Hey, you're on the wrong side of the fence. There you go. See you girls in the morning. Good night. Good night.